What is up, everybody? It's your boy first TV here today, and we have to talk about this quote from Sean Layden say, talking so much mess about Xbox and her recent decisions. It is kind of hilarious because the internet is roasting this guy for this guy's comment. But this is what's going on right now. Former PlayStation boss Sean Layden has said it's criminal that the industry isn't doing more to preserve games. That's kind of funny because at the three big companies, Microsoft, Nintendo, and PlayStation, Microsoft does the most with Xbox to preserve these games, but you know. And he also states that, and as Microsoft buys Activision, he also warned of the threat to creat creativity from consolidation. When I was like, really? <laughs> Microsoft buying Activision is a bad thing while they have the most diverse library of games on their service and in games in general? Like, okay. I got some, somebody, somebody posted a picture right here, Sam. They have games like Pentiment, Sea of Thieves, High Fire Rush, Grounded. Pretty much super diverse games. Like, none of these games are remotely similar. And that's not even include, that's like, you can include Forza, Halo, Gears. They're big games as well, too. They're completely different. But, you know, Starfield, the Bethesda games as well. But, you know, he says it's a fear of a lack of creativity. That's just mind boggling. Because he also stated at one point, let me pull up that one tweet that somebody found. Uh, this is the same tweet from Sean Layden also says, If we continue to coalesce around four or five genres, we won't get any new players because those players have already said we're not interested in your games. Oh, the irony of a former PlayStation executive concerned for gamers focusing on only a few genres. Yeah, <laughs> this is pretty much the Sony template. Have a small kid or a woman hold a, hold a bow and arrow to do combat with. Well, yeah, he's like, or the sad dad simulator for PlayStation. I was like, PlayStation has pretty much done the same thing. But you want to criticize Microsoft for buying Activision? I was like, what a clown comment right there. But it's just fascinating. Once again, this guy works for Tencent is what people are saying. So I didn't follow this guy's history. But if he's working for Tencent, like, then you're like a, like a humongous hypocrite at that point. Because here's a chart of the top 50 gaming companies. And Tencent is number one. They are above Sony and Microsoft by a big margin, like seven million more than both these companies. Even while when Microsoft owned Activision Blizzard, they still have a lot more. They own, they getting more revenue. So it's not like, really you work for Tencent, but you're talking about people buying up companies or console consolidation. They own a lot of companies under Tencent. And then it's like, yeah, so it's like it doesn't make any sense this comments he's making, but nonetheless he made this clown comment right here. Let's see what people got to say about it though. How do you reconcile these comments when you work for Tencent, which is a heavyweight player in the, in the consolidation game? Yeah, they own, a lot of, they own a lot of publishers and companies as well, so it literally doesn't make any sense. Do Lily bought the entire industry then said this. <laughs> Meanwhile, PlayStation has screwed him out of the building. Consolidation fear is understandable, but argument is very ironic when you're working for Tencent. Yeah, his statement just makes no sense. It's literally so hypocritical right there. Bro works for Tencent and wants to complain about industry consolidation. He's mad because Sony's fan base would be fun in Xbox. <laughs> kind of true. Phil pretty much is rubbing his hands because that Call of Duty game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, is going to sell like hotcakes on PlayStation. And for each one that sells, Microsoft is getting a profit of it. So, yeah. To be honest, even before Microsoft acquisition, there was no creativity coming out of Activision Studios in my opinion. Therefore, I didn't think this acquisition would change anything. We need to preserve games. Back on that point, too, of that. It's like, once again, Microsoft does the most with preserving games. For Nintendo, you, you can't play their older games. You can't play the Wii U games. You, unless you want to buy the Switch shinier version of those games. You got to pay a whole brand new 60 bucks for those games. And also, with their subscription service to play their super old games, like the Game Boy Advance and um, Super Nintendo, Nintendo games, you need to get their online subscription service to do that. So they have a terrible way of preserving games too. Because if you don't have the subscription service, you can't actually play those games again. So, yeah, I think Microsoft has the best track record of preserving games. So you can play games from all the way, all the way back to Xbox One generation, original, original Xbox generation, or Xbox Series X, I believe. So I think they got the best way of doing it. So. He ain't lying. We shall we shall watch and see the fall of Activ Blizzard, Activision Blizzard King. <laughs> what a sad existence you must live to see the fall of. You want to see them fail? Like really? 
Preserving games is essential for preserving cultural heritage and allowing future generations to experience the history of gaming, thus ensure that creativity and innovation thrives even amidst industry consolidation. He's right, Microsoft Monopoly. Really? Oh man. They're still going with Microsoft as a monopoly. Once again, let me show you this chart once again. Tencent is way bigger than Microsoft. Plus 7 million in game ownership or game revenue, but these clowns are still saying that Microsoft just owns everything, and they're actually equal with Sony and revenue with this chart right here with, with, with after, after own Activision Blizzard King. So, really. Sean Layden. First, I was like, Crash? PlayStation? What happened? <laughs> it's not home by Xbox. Uh. Man who works at McDonald's gives comments on the fast food industry. There's just too many damn burgers. Okay. Doesn't he work for Tencent, the company that owns the most? Yes, he does. Sean loves consolidation when the Sony bound up countless studios just to close them down while buying up exclusivity for everything, but can't stand when Xbox buys publishers. It's called competition and there is more to come. I think they should just say they hate competition at the end of the day because why are they so bitter about Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard when they got, when it's clearly, it's plainly obvious that Tencent owns more, so I don't know. I think, I think they just hate Microsoft competing in all honesty. This guy sounds like a fraud. He literally works at Tencent, which is worse, and he really said this, LMFAO. Uh, he's probably upset that Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard before Tencent was able to. <laughs> yeah, because if Microsoft wasn't going to do it, Tencent was probably going to be the one who, do, who did buy him, so. Sean looking in the mirror this morning, <laughs> pointing at himself with this hypocritical statement. How ironic it is that Microsoft is the only console manufacturer that seems to prioritize backwards compatibility. Yeah. Sony wants to wants you to pay for their premium service so you can get their classic games. And they're actually remastering. Unless they unless they count Sony like remastering their games from three to five years ago, which they're doing a lot of remastering games that were pretty much brand new. I guess that's preserving. <laughs> Not really, but you know, I guess they're trying. Um, that is false. They are new developers always popping in with new games all the time. Uh, dude got escorted out the building of his old job. Maybe he should have worried about more creativity from PlayStation Studios. Uh, you mean Microsoft, the only console maker that supports four generations of backwards compatibility? Those guys versus the clowns he worked for that chose to ignore PS3 back and back and sold you trash streaming service instead. How many studios did Sony buy while he was there? Yeah, definitely a bit critical from um, this guy's point of perspective. Um, but it's okay for Sony. To money hat and lock down games from other consoles. Okay, Sean, if you say so. <laughs> Former for a reason. Get with the times. Without Microsoft buying them, would Hi-Fi Rush or Pentiment have been made? I may understand the broader principle, but I'm not sure it's so black and white. Okay. Uh... Yeah, people just saying the same sentiment that Microsoft is doing the most to preserve games right now. Uh, yeah, okay, so he is working for Tencent. He has recently joined Tencent Games as a strategic advisor in his new role. Yeah, he works at Tencent now, so I'm like, really? This dude's statement is so hypocritical. You saying that's why you're working at Tencent? Like, this is so clownish. Speculation and fear mongering. PlayStation talking about creativity when they're the only make one type of game is hilarious. Yeah, either sad dad simulators <laughs> or games where it's like small children or women with bows and arrows to fight enemies with. Yeah, they're so disturbed. It's so diverse like PlayStation right now. Or literally using the most popular superheroes to sell their consoles. <laughs> But works for Tencent, clown, major hypocrisy, shooting off the meter right now. So, yeah. 
<laughs> Pretty much saying he's just crying like a baby about this. Yeah, I can't agree. The people are just roasting this guy. It's just endless comments about this. Like, it's a lot of replies. Like, 208 replies just roasting this guy. It's probably more in the, in the, um, the quote tweets as well. But, yeah. Nobody agrees with what this guy stated. Only a few people, but the vast majority of them saying this guy is a clown with this statement right here. It just shows a lot of hypocrisy, for, especially for the employee that he works for right now. Tencent, which owns a large majority of the gaming community right now. So, you know, his statement just doesn't make any sense, but they're so buttered about Microsoft owning Activision. <laughs> I don't know why I threatened so many people, but yeah, so many people are just so buttered about that. So, I'm going to include it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Leave a like, like this video, and as always, thanks for watching, and peace.